Wind, aid my hand. Wind, aid my hand. If I do this to shut them off of being able to Doctor Doom... It also shuts them off of being able to Annie, which is perfect here. Our concern is that they could have Zabu into Shang-Chi for the center. here obviously but our trio of disruptive guards in storm goose cosmo looking slick for the inevitable pixel. Hey, may it, hopefully it's a pixel variant that's in one of the in one of the albums, eh? That's the big hope. We have not had a chance to do the vision science experiment yet. Kella gamers. This ends up being a restrictive location. Storm plus Cosmo can bully Hello. Resource efficient play. We're live on the blade for now. Is the option to Hella this turn potentially? Minions to me. 
Anyways, escaped. Maybe, maybe we're supposed to hold the Cosmo for five to try and catch them with this. If I, if I flip the order here and I goose on four and Cosmo on five, I would have caught them. I would have caught the Hella. There would have been only one spot they could play it. So that one's on me. Proxima, Proxima Surfer is going to be the next thing we try if this is a failure. It's just, this just sounded kind of novel, so I wanted to do it. But welcome back. So far, so far, so far, Proxima unfortunately feels like another pretty whelming release. Currently, be kind of surprised if she ends up having a particularly powerful home in any of the established or other decks. Catch you later, Silv Silv. Uh, we're coloring we're coloring outside the lines now all of all of the more obvious things seemed like they were kind of whatever we're, we're gonna see if there's other things that could maybe be relevant God the space throat sucks for us. I guess I can put this here for now. <laughs> All right, they're playing Galactus, so they're dead. God bless. Our girl again, but the rest of the deck hummed along okay here. I don't think I've actually played this movement package with Goose Storm Cosmo before. Core feels all right.
Second dinner ever mentioned wanting or not to release a new keyword on their map? I believe they said it's a when, not an if for a new keyword, but they're also not in a rush to do it. Cosmo boosters again. Uh, I don't think anybody clipped the self timeout yesterday, at least not that I saw. So close, and yet so far, so far away. Catch you later, Warlordy. Thanks for waking up today. Swapped from playing off meta stuff and joined everybody else and went from 88 to 99 in three hours playing hella. I can't wait for the OTA. Well, I mean, based on what we heard today, I wouldn't expect a lot from the OTA in terms of hella changes. Glenn Jones, Glenn Jones answered a team questions thing, basically saying that hella is fine and it has not, has not broken any of their metrics. Glenn 100% plays the game on a public server. I talked about this earlier today, but the last like month or two, it's really kind of felt like to me personally that like I'm playing a different game than what they're balancing. Like my, my lived experience playing Snap does not feel reflective of how they are, how they're balancing. Okay, I think we're dead here, but I can at least learn how this works. I believe if I sequence this like this, Lady Sif or Proxima will see this as zero and go here, kicking us up to eight on the right. Is my, my expectation. So I'm at two in the middle. This still shows zero, so Proxima's guaranteed to go here. Okay, cool. So that, that works how I expected it to work, at least. That was, that was kind of one of the ideas behind what we did with this deck. We were having, we were consistently having trouble with getting Proxima to go where we wanted her to go. And by finagling when you move your cards versus when you discard Proxima, we can kind of cheat how much power we have at different locations to control where she ends up at better. So... When I talk about disconnected from what Second Dinner is saying, they're not talking about anecdotes, Luthrell. They're talking about overall metrics of the game in terms of like what's hitting thresholds and what's not.
yeah, maybe crunch. There's just like, there's always a new card coming, right? So you could always be like, wait, we should let it breathe and see what happens. I feel like you could just like pretty much always have that position. There's, a, there's always a new one next week. Have a one drop, bud. <laughs> they know they know my hand is all ones. Opponent snapped. Get up to breeze, not bad. Ooh, speaking of not bad, she's lovely. I think this is like, honestly, one of my favorite pieces of art in the game at this point. It's like one of my favorite characters. It looks great with the gold split. Love it. Hey, thanks for getting out and doing your drops here, Shim. I think Hope Summers could shift the format dramatically. Maybe, we'll see. Like, I think Hope and Pixie both have the best chance to create new decks out of any cards that have released in a long time. I don't know that I'm super optimistic that they will, but I think compared to all of the other releases recently, they are definitely a cut above. Enough said. the super flow. I think I'm okay without the energy and this could maybe cut them off of them trying to plan around having it. You know, we split the storm for gold at some point. This is another one of my top pieces of artworks in the game. Proxima as a five energy play. We actually have, I was about to say we've been there, but we actually haven't been there yet. So far, so far our Proxima's have been free. If we can draw Proxima on the last turn here, she's probably good for us. We got ways to bid her. Please just spend our energy. Now the real question is, how much do I want to try and contest the flooding versus not? I have four cards in their hand. If I do this, this gives me 7, 10, 15, 22 here. That's probably plenty. I think we win the middle too. Yeah, we guaranteed get their Wolverine here from the White Palace, which is nice. I guess we die to a Shang playing all three of them out here. Set, Maybe a mistake. Could have, could have contested the flooding. Our Proxima is just so, so shy, Jet. Uses to show up in games where we're serviceable. Victory.
I don't think the strong guy Black Swan deck is very good. I'm not sure that Proxima really helps it. But we might we might get there eventually, but it's towards the bottom of my priority list. For sure. I think my, my to-do list is this deck, Proxima Surfer, and then probably that one. Okay, uh, Goose or Cosmo for here. And uh, we could be could be in an okay spot here. Goose or Cosmo, Goose or Cosmo. And I'm putting Proxima Blows as the start of the stream title to hopefully head off some of the questions of the past. I think I'm comfortable saying that at this point. We're gonna, it's not gonna stop us from playing with her, but Proxima Blows still brewing anyways. Hey, have some adverts. We're gonna do one more set with this one and we'll, uh, we'll be hanging out for a little bit yet. Don't go anywhere. that's good for is Corvus Jet. The rest of us, probably not worth your resources.
That's the, I think that's the approximate mood. I miss, I miss Marvel staff releases that felt playable that weren't just four tens and six fifteens. Six, six, fifteen minimum. That's true. Sometimes they're bigger. So after playing with her for a little bit today, I actually think it's really unfair to call Proxima less interesting Wolverine. Her, her restriction around always playing to lowest power lane is actually a deck building and play pattern consideration that you have to think about while you're sequencing your deck. I think it's, I think it's a bad take to peg her as super similar to Wolverine. I would, I would not be inclined to agree with that. Sweating, so probably just a Galactus deck. All right, all of my points of power go everywhere. Certainly, certainly a hobgoblin pile of cards here for me, but... Oh, they can't Galactus this though, yeah? Draw Lady Sif, so I can't get the Proxima to play. I'm swapping my crawler and my vision, assuming they put their Jeff right. But obviously, despite getting rid of New York, we're still a little bit of a New York coin flip game here. Would have had a little bit more agency of what ended up where if we would have had Lady Sif to dump the Proxima Midnight. But because Proxima, we didn't draw Lady Sif, Proxima can only go here. Which is still 12 points of power for six. Not impressive, but fine. <laughs> Skunk their alive! Because our brain's bigger than theirs. Ooh. Victory! Uh, Vision versus Jeff coin flip. The 
Wizard variant. It's not bad. Card's playable at least. Find yourself some Luke Cage and go to town. worse than Corvus. Hey, they're just, they don't snap. The cards don't do the same thing. So it's not like It's like asking me if an apple is worse than an orange. What do you do with shillings? You sock them away in a box under your bed to someday become a shillionaire. to find our goose for the throne room to keep them from playing a big thing there. Is she the worst card to release this month? I mean, I don't know that any of the cards to release this month are particularly out, particularly exciting. I guess Call Obsidian's pretty, uh, pretty playable at least. At least, at least got that going for us. Try and hope to catch their Pella with the Cosmo next turn. Angela going up two at a time reminds me of happier days. <laughs> Mood. I have six energy this turn though. Minions to me. Hello now. Anything that beats this? I don't think so, no. This puts us to... No, they can't blade, right? I guess their blade, their blade is 12. Do I do this? So that way they have a slightly more? Well, that's why, that's why I'm thinking I Cosmo. Cosmo loses to Blade plus their Blade. Is relevant. We can ask for a whole lot more than that. Huh. 
<laughs> dear, dear gamer, if you're currently watching, I just want you to know Proxima is really putting the mid in midnight made me chuckle. Thank you. Thank you for the comment. The Spectrum Thanos hitting it. I think all of the non-Lockjaw Thanos decks with the... I think the only Thanos deck I would consider really good is the Stock Column Obsidian one. Spectrum, Spectrum Thanos might be varying degrees of fine, but I wouldn't call it good. Our deck's such a mediocre game of lamp deck. Thanks. We got two geese though. We got two goose, two goose and a cosmo. Certainly a snap. I'll play this out here proactively, just in case it's something stupid like Crimson Cosmos that we wouldn't be able to play into. Lovely. Opponent snapped. I'm gonna eventually Cosmo the minion. Yeah. Black Order Thanos deck. No, there's like actual no synergy there. So no, there's not anything there. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, actually, let's just vision. So we can move him in and then we'll slam the apocalypse over here to win this. I even get to move the Nightcrawler so Proxima lands over here. Putting two geese in your deck. Strong, strong suggestion, honestly. Snap. Opponent snapped.
one thing I appreciate about Jeff's card reviews is he lets you know if a card is performing in the deck or if the deck is performing and the card just kind of exists. Yeah, it's a really important distinction. kind of guessing where their Deadpool is going here. If they're carnaging, they're going here. If they're venoming, they're going here. Just kind of a 50-50. Oh, if they're whole clustering, they're going right. slash interesting observation series. I wonder if Hella hasn't hit the play rate threshold for second dinner because not enough people have gotten Black Knight at lower collection levels than MMRs. Because it's only been at like two spotlight caches. Yeah, it's a really good thought. critical for Hella. I think Black Knight is really critical for Hella decks, yes. The two things that really helped Hella rise from a meme secondary deck to a top tier likely best deck in the format was the addition of Blade being targeted and Black Knight adding a layer of consistency. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Welcome back. I find hella hard to play in snaps. Yeah, I think it's I, I, I think you're the literally the first person I've ever here expressed that. I think hella is one of the most straightforward decks to snap with because when your deck is going to do the thing, it's very clear from the cards in your hand. So just like feel free to giddy up and press the button.
Store Monster Metropolis off. Product doesn't have any like super individually large numbers. Wind aid my hand. You know, I'm gonna be resource efficient and play Cosmo this turn, I think, because then we can save the Jeff for the last turn so he can sneak into the flooding if we need him. Ooh, they have our vision. Gives me 8, 9, 10 here up to 18. This puts me 12 over here. I guess that makes sense. So they have such a strong line and I have so many points here potentially. I could have won this over here. I could have been... Gonna put these two here to be 8, 16. Nah, I'm only 18 over here regardless. Hey, White Queen was very good for them. Probably one of the White Queen was honestly probably one of the only cards that could win them that game. Or they would need to like a Colson for their own vision. White Queen just meant that I couldn't contest my uh just what's it called? I think the rolls on Corvus and Lady Sif and Jubilee and Lockjaw are hard to calculate when I can't really snap snap after. Well, I, I don't, I would honestly probably be playing the non-Corvus builds if I love. I think adding Corvus into that deck takes it back to that kind of meme status I was talking about a bit ago where it just like wasn't consistent. And I'm honestly kind of surprised. Well, I'm not surprised because like hell is the obvious place to shove that new card into. So like that's where a lot of people default to is just like shoving the new card into the established good deck. I don't I don't think there's a particularly compelling reason to add be adding Corvus to Hella. The deck is good without it and more consistent. Opponent. Just play the existing Lockjaw Hella decks from before. And yeah, in general, with your lock draws especially, you should be snapping when you're a statistical favorite with your lock draws. And sometimes you're going to miss, but that's okay. And if you just snap every time you're a statistical favorite, in the long run, you come out ahead. Definitely going to be a vision into bar sinister angle. This is one of his best locations. God. <laughs> the, the animation bird. Uh, I think that's actually good for us, yeah? It, it's, that, mean, that means they probably can't play into here, huh?
Not a not a big deal though, yeah. I don't, I don't think they can put two cards here. I mean, just play this as a four seven. Such is my judgment. Ha! <laughs> that wasn't the, uh, the one I was expecting. All right, I guess we're dead. Tried Storm discard. What problem does the discard deck have that adding Storm to it is fixing for it, Villa? Because from my perspective, if your Storm deck's not playing like Goose and Cosmo to put Hela in a box where she can't play, storming a path is simply a huge liability in this metagame because Hela's gonna take your Storm path and beat you in it almost every time. My, from my perspective, adding Storm to the discard deck like what you're what you're saying is good like what you're saying is accurate but it's also like okay this is accurate but it doesn't fix the issue right and that's what that's what you want to be doing when you're making changes to a deck you don't want to make changes to a deck just for the sake of making changes to it you want to be like okay this is problem deck has and i'm attempting to make change to solve said problem aka the great thank you for the Six months. Welcome back. Has Proxima played with Dracula or is that garbage? Why would that be good? You're like, I guess it's like four energy for 15 power total, which is like slightly above rate, I guess. The way this works, if I do this and then I blade and I move both of these here, blade will put the Proxima into here guaranteed, I think. I think that's how that works. Because these haven't staged into here yet, so this is three my lowest power blade. Yeah. Now, we did that. I don't know if we can win the game. I get to feel a little bit smart because our movement stuff kind of lined up the way we wanted it to. But they, if they have, I, I let our, 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 goose, our goose locked us out. <laughs> I assume they have a way to put two points of power into the middle. Victory. 
Got him! That's the fear and shit. Bogwai was tweeting about Snap being all coin flips and being interested in Pokemon TCG. I mean, oh, he's honestly not wrong. I think I think Snap in its current form is the most coin flips the game has ever had. I think between Hella being a top deck and Shang Chi and Eliath being the other main wedge of the format. There's a, there's just a, there's a lot of it. I don't I don't like as someone who's like pushed back on that when I felt it was appropriate to push back on that. I think I think he's just right. And there's lock lockjaw is like the crap icing on the cake. And definitely Cosmoing here so we can catch a rock slide slip in. Seven power seems low for how much hype they had on her. Yeah, I mean they could have they could have had her be like a 5-9 easily, right? Could have been like a real real choice that they made. Makes her makes her easier to discard with Lady Sif too in situations. Center, so that way I had another Jin to play into the pet mansion right next to her, potentially. Well. Miss Marvel's the card I'm kind of concerned about here. Yeah, I don't intend to play any Infinite Conquest until after the, the OTA. And depending on how the OTA goes, we might just, like, re retreat them all. <laughs> This is the play to win line. This ties uh, Miss Marvel out over here at least. Oh, I just didn't play for there in the rain at all. I guess at least one of these is uh, a Jin, huh? Oh, I forgot they had the demon. What happened to their HUD? Where did the demon? Oh! Oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, we're definitely supposed to just retreat. I totally missed that this made a demon. Totally missed that that made a demon while we were chatting. My favorite deck to play these days. Uh, I really like the kitty... The kitty lift deck. I 
That's such a disappointing center location. I wanted to go Goose Storm Cosmo. And this lands here. And they have they have to have Zabu this turn. Well, six in one hand, half dozen in the other. That could have that could have gone worse. And then Proxima will be equally likely to hit either of these, yeah? Proxima always goes left if two spots are tied. Is that true? Every time she's happened so far anecdotally, that's been the case. That's, that's what she's done. I wonder if that's true. All right, gamers. It's about that time. I'm going to keep playing with this deck because I'm going to be honest. I mean, it's the Proxima Midnight deck I've enjoyed the most. I think we can get a highlight with it for tomorrow. We're going to try some other things in a little bit, but I'm going to do at least one more segment between ad breaks with this. We'll see you in 120 seconds for some more Proxima movement. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. Abu claims another soul. Yep. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate the pride. Welcome back. Gamers. Slow and steady. My lovely wife will be home with food in about an hour and a half. Fuel to keep going.
It did for not every time. Um. Let's see if we can add another sample here, right? Does Blade into the center put Proxima to left? Someone said Proxima always goes left. For one, cannot believe that Twitch chat lied to me. Shocked, shocked, and appalled that Twitch chat, in fact, has misled me. I think they're most likely to play center, so I'm gonna Cosmo there. Always. <laughs> um. Let's do this, so that we can vision here next turn. Myth busted, yeah, basically. I know a trend when I see one, one data point. <laughs> to be fair, I think I had two or three data points that had her always, always going to left. You know what I always like to say, chat? Everybody knows the plural of anecdote is data. Is this win here? This is not enough, right? Vision, vision would have to stay. So this is the only spot they can hella. And then we'd be the hell of here. We're one in three to win. Win. Oh no, we were two and three to win with that line, right? Victory. Never mind. Quick maps. Quick maps. Even if the hella lives, we win here, right? No, we were 100%? We were 100%. We were 100%. Live. We live for over eight hours, like we said. <laughs> I expected to see more Corvus Proxima, but all I've seen today is Hella Lockjaw. Don't worry, chat. Hella Lockjaw is not particularly popular and has not crossed any thresholds. Oh, it's all in your heads, gamers. It's all, it's all in your head. Since Kitty's not gonna bounce back to her hand anyways, might as well play maybe land shark out, right? And we'll air him on the right side just in case we hit like a stark tower or something. Yeah, then give it to Storming Atlantis. Have a 
having fun with the Nakia Black Swan deck. Yeah, what a sweet. Aid my hand. Open my Twitch drops for Pixel Domino. Poor Domino chat. Poor, poor Domino. That's not the Proxima Midnight I wanted for Christmas, gamers. And the Magneto pulling means I can't even Elsa Bloodstone in the center. incredibly low bar pixel lizard is probably a step up from pixel lizard is probably a step up from pixel domino Escaped. location is just like the bait of my existence whenever i'm trying to play a deck like this that's all little cards that i enjoy one side, we'll storm the other, we'll hopefully Cosmo the middle. We'll go on our merry way. Oh, drawing the vision's rough because it means I can't Lady Sif into the storm path next turn now like I wanted to. Wind aid my Uh, actually, let's do this, so that way I am more likely to have priority. Hoping to find Kitty Blade, Kitty or Blade Dexter, so we can fill our hand up. Opponent snapped. Oh, we didn't draw Cosmo yet. Oh, I didn't we draw Cosmo? I 
If they modoc, this puts me to 15 here. 15, 17, 18. It puts them to... Oh, the Dracula buff gets us. Confirmed pay to win, yeah, basically. before the Hotel Inferno hits. Yeah, I'll play for all your cubes. You got two shots to take three from them. They could have Lockjaw and just Worm here. Neat. It's kind of like the the old school school variations of discard that we used to see. This will force Proxima into here, which puts us to eleven, and then I can get to fourteen. I think they're gonna play for here. And I need to not be in here, actually. So they have a 12 power They have a 12 power, what's his name? Apocalypse. 
So I'm a 19 here. This puts me to 4, 10, 15. I can only go to 18 here. Kind of meet that kind of medium. It's unfortunate. Boo bar, thanks for the quarter of a year. I mean, you'd have to go back and look, but probably close to half our games have been against Tell Us since the new card released, which is more than it was. But at least it's not all of them, I suppose. for us, I think. I think? Maybe? We'll hope. Yeah, hell, I don't know that, that Proxima is necessarily ideal in Hella, but Hella is definitely the low-hanging fruit to shove it into. Most likely to play here with the Bifrost so it can slide into the kiln, right? Because of this, my Cosmo. Oh, I needed to Cosmo here because of the Bifrost. Yeah, I messed this up. I wasn't thinking. But if I would have Cosmoed here, not only would we have caught the Corvus, but then I would have gotten to put my Goose here and we'd have had them covered on both sides. Proxima's more stats. Proxima's free stats for me later, though, potentially. If we if we draw Blade, I get to go Goose Jeff Blade and then also get Proxima here. Naturally. Going on, Major Tool. Thanks for the five buds. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Minions to me. All right. I don't. I don't know that we deserve to win that one, but I'll take it. If Proxima jumps, you're losing more and if two have the same power. No, I believe it's random. Well, the, only, the only thing she considers is power. Proxima interact with power on bar with no name. You have zero power on bar. She's going to jump into the bar. Uh, pour herself a tall glass of something at your expense.
Proximal loves happy hour, yep. So normally when I post deck highlights, I don't like to repeat the same matchup constantly in that deck highlight. But that that's literally just not tenable after today's set of games. I have, I have actual no choice but to just repeat, repeat, repeat the same matchup a bunch. That's <laughs> bad. All the same all the way down. Uh, I think Proxima is probably better than Hercules to clear an incredibly low bar. There's no way for me to fill this and not discard the card. Maybe they don't fill it this turn and then I can fill it next turn with them. Oh, glass half full. A chance to see a white queen OTA Thursday they go with this bundle. I don't think they can OTA white queen to make her a playable card unless they make her not cost more. And I'd be surprised if that's the case. Glenn had actually made a comment the other day in a team answers question that 4-6 white queen is bad basically and that he doesn't think 4-7 white queen is good either which is almost assuredly true. White Queen's probably a playable card. Yeah, she has so many fantastic pieces of art. It's a shame. It's a shame that she's trash. They added, added another great piece of art for her today. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go Angela into Nightcrawler here because this is only turn two, and then I turn three. We could go Elsa into Kitty here. 
round out our pure gold trifecta. This is a little sad. It means if I want to play Vision, I'll have to give up Kitty. So I guess I guess Lady Sip with Mindscape's kind of funny. So I can just get my hand empty. Yeah, it's so our first not hella matchup in a few. We'll save for it for a minute here. White Queen drew the highest power card out of your opponent's deck. Well, I think White Queen would probably need something similar to like Mirage's text box, where she makes the card that she's taking better than it is by default. Is that good? I actually can't tell if that's good. I could, I could also. Also just do this. Just give them a storm. I think this is this is probably better, right? This is this means they're gonna spew their hand though, but they might not be able to spew their hand. They have five cards. I'm gonna do this, just give them a storm. Send me a snap fan link, Deadly. We'll probably do that today. All right, Maximus to make sure they get some cards out of us is cute at least. Have a, have a four seven. Weird slow animation, yeah. 